Hi everyone, really good to see you today. Now, I do read all your comments and I do read all your suggestions and I do try and reply to absolutely everybody. The thing which is there, um, everyone's sort of saying, not everyone, but an awful lot of you are saying, you've got to go to Weatherspoons, you've got to try one of their breakfasts, you've got to try one of their meals, you've got to try this, you've got to try that. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get the whole lot out of the way in one fell go. And I wasn't going to go to Weatherspoons. So I'm going to go for breakfast, I'm going to go for lunch, and then I'm going to go for dinner. So I'm going to do the whole lot in one day. As always, let's give this a go. Okay, we're in southwest London. It's time for breakfast, and we've come to the Coronation Hall. As always, let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got the menu in front of me. Well, their breakfast menu in front of me. It's served from 8 a.m. until 12 noon. It's got a very, very large range of different breakfasts here, from your traditional breakfast, vegetarian breakfast, eggs benedicts, mushroom benedicts. They've even got pancakes on here. Let you guys take a look at it. Me, I'm gonna go for their large breakfast, which is two uh, fried eggs, bacon, two sausages, three hash browns, um, mushrooms, I'm not gonna have the mushroom, uh, baked beans and toast as well. What I really like, it's £1.50 for your tea, coffee or hot chocolate. You can go back as many times as you like. I think that's good value. I'm on table 70 and I'm going to go down and order. So I'll see you in a minute. Start off with the egg. I'll say that egg looks uh, slightly damaged to say the least. But let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, unfortunately, the egg's uh, a little overdone. It's a free range egg. Let's see what it tastes like. Got a nice flavour to it. I prefer it to be a lot more runny than that. Let's try one of the sausages. Let's say it's a nice portion. It's a nice size um, breakfast there. You've got some herbs inside the sausage there. Hmm. It's a Cumberland sausage. I gotta say, that's very tasty. That's a good sausage. Now onto the bacon. And bacon actually looks a little bit anemic. There's some griddle marks on it, but yeah. Okay. A smoky bacon. And you can actually taste the smokiness of the bacon coming through. Presentation wise, it does look a little bit anemic though. So, one of the hash browns. Yep, yeah, nice and crisp on the outside. We'll try it with some beans. Hash browns are fine. I imagine they'll come out of the deep fat fryer. They're absolutely fine. The beans though, we're going to take a closer look up here. There's not much sauce with the beans at all. It's, um, it's very, very dry. Okay, let's have a little bit of a combo. A bit of sausage. 
some hash browns, some beans. Hmm. The style of the show is definitely the sausages. The sausages are very, very tasty. Everything else a little bit disappointing. Hash browns are okay, but the eggs are a little bit overdone there. The bacon's a little bit anemic and the, the beans are a little bit dry. Let's try my cappuccino. For one pound fifty, for as many as I as I as I want to have, that's great value. That's really, really good. I'm gonna tuck in here, I'm gonna have some toast, and I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, so I've just finished the breakfast. First things first, I'll take my health to Brotherspoons. They know how to do the interior of a pub. This pub looks, it looks absolutely incredible. Onto the breakfast. I uh, thought the sausages, really good sausages. Cumberland sausages, they had a really nice taste to them. I thought the toast was really, really good as well. However, oh sorry, hash browns weren't too bad either. However, the beans were very, very dry. The eggs were just totally overcooked. They were really, really not good at all. And the bacon was a little bit anemic. Um, so overall, I was a little bit disappointed. However, one thing you've got to bear in mind, that was £6.40. So value for money-wise, that was exceptionally good value for money. You know, I might have been a little bit unlucky when I came in here. You know, even going to another West Spoons, the breakfast might well come up absolutely perfect. And if it had come up perfect, I would have given it a really, really good mark. However, for that breakfast that I had there, and taking into account the coffee as well, I can only give it, having a smashing time behind the bar as well, I can only give it a 6 out of 10. Now you might think I'm being a bit harsh there, but I think a 6 out of 10. Anyhow. Onwards, let's have a bit of lunch. See you soon. Okay, so here we are, Leicester Square. We're going to the Moon Underwater, which is obviously a Weatherspoons pub as well. Lunch time. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got the menu here. Well, to be honest, I've already gone up and ordered. We come into London, and straight away my, my wallet starts like shaking in my pocket. And I understand why. I had a breakfast this morning uh, in southwest London, and it was £6.40. Coming here into Leicester Square, it's £9.91. Totally mad. Yeah, looking through the menu, it's actually a smaller Weatherspoons menu here. I'll let you guys take a look at it. What I'm going for, I'm going to go for their fried buttermilk chicken burger. Uh, now that comes with a portion of fries as well. And if you get it with an alcoholic drink, at these prices, I've decided to get it with an alcoholic drink, it's £12.79. So um, I've got to say, if you actually take the, the wine into account, that's not too bad. Let's try the wine first though. Yeah, that's a nice Pinot Grigio. I'll see you when the meal arrives. London, unbelievable.
So my meal's arrived. We'll take a little bit of a close-up. It's not the most exciting plate of food I've ever seen. So I've got my uh, chips there. And it does say on the menu a small portion of chips. I've got my buttermilk burger. Let's see what it looks like inside. <coughs> it's a dry bun there. Let's turn that over. Yeah. A bit skimpy on the portion, I'd say. A little bit skimpy. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's put it back together. I'm going to cut through it and see what it looks like. Let's move some of these uh, chips. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. Now the, now the taste test. We'll start off with one of the chips. The frozen chips. And chips are chips, I suppose. They're not the best chips I've ever had. They're not the worst chips I've ever had, but yeah. Definitely need salt and vinegar on them. Now let's have a bite. Mm. It's a bit surprising. Because that um, bus milk um, chicken burger is very, very tasty. It's really, really nice. I genuinely think they could have done with a, a few more um, or a bigger tomato in there and a little bit more lettuce and a little bit more onion. I'm going to have to put some uh, mayonnaise on this just to make it a little bit more moist. But the burger itself is very, very tasty. Overall, looking at it as a plate of food, it doesn't look that appetizing. But flavour's flavour, and that burger is very, very tasty, so that's good news. I'm going to crack on here, and I'll see you guys when I finish. Heinz, seriously good mayonnaise as well. Okay. I am starting to fill up here. Onto the food itself. As I said earlier, it's not the most appetizing plate of food I've ever seen. However, for a lunchtime snack, that's a nice portion of chips. And the burger itself is a nice size as well. The main thing about the burger was the chicken burger itself, done in buttermilk. That had a nice crunch to it, and it had a really nice flavor to it as well. Um, I've got to say, I really enjoyed that. I think the um, tomato could have been bigger and the there could have been more lettuce in there. Yeah. The chips themselves, chips are chips and chips. They were frozen chips. Again, they're okay. You know, um, I thought they were quite nice. On to the price. £12.79. Now that included a glass of Pinot Grigio, one seven five as well. So you've got to take that into account. That's, uh, if you knock the glass of wine off, and we're here in central London, you can say that's easily four pound. So if I base it here and say that the burger itself was eight pounds 79, that's not bad value. That's not bad at all. What marks am I gonna give it? I'm gonna give this one a solid seven and a half out of 10. A good seven and a half out of 10. Now, one of the things which I can't really base on is the price here because I have come into central London into Leicester Square and I'd imagine it's a lot cheaper elsewhere. Would I come here again and have the, uh, the chicken burger? Not to this one. I'd actually probably go to another Red Spoons and have it in another Red Spoons where it's a little bit cheaper. But that was actually not a bad lunchtime snack or a lunchtime meal if you like. I've got to go now. In a couple of hours time I've got to have my third meal at Weatherspoons. See you soon. Well, actually, I'm going to finish my wine before I, I go elsewhere. Nice wine, though.
Okay, third stop, dinner. Come on. Okay, so we come to Victoria train station, only because that helps me get home afterwards. And we've come to, it's called Weatherspoons. It hasn't got an actual name, it's just called Weatherspoons. Now it's my final meal, it's my dinner. Gotta say I'm not massively hungry. I'm always willing to give anything a go. So let's give this a go. Okay, so I've got the menu here. I am totally perplexed with the spoons pricing. As you know, we're in Victoria Station, which again is the heart of London and it's Victoria Station. And the prices here are different to Leicester Square. It's cheaper than Leicester Square, but dearer than South West London. Don't understand. What am I going to go for? Hmm. I've ordered their classic curry. Now I've had chicken at lunchtime here, so I'm entitled to go for a bit of beef. So I'm going for the beef madras. Now that's served with uh, basmati pillow rice, uh, plain naan and poppadons. It's got four uh, chilli signs there, so hopefully it's nice and spicy. And the cost of that is £13 and a penny. What difference the penny makes, but £13 and a penny. And it comes with a pint of Stella as well. You can choose any drink you want. And I've got to say, I actually think that's pretty good value because you go to a pub up here in London, pint of Stella is a minimum of £5 and even upwards of 6 So if you take that price off the £13, the £5 off, you're only paying £8 and a penny for it. That's pretty good value. Anyhow, I'll see you when the curry arrives. Okay, I'm going to start with the poppadons. Sorry about the announcements in the background. Nice and crispy. Yeah. Nice and crispy poppadons. Let's try a bit of the naan bread. The one thing I am missing though is my selection of chutneys and what have you. Can't have everything. Naan no, no, bread's nice and warm. Mm. That's a nice flavour as well. Now, I've had criticism because I always go for boiled rice. I have my pillow rice here. As a flavour, a pillow rice is really, really nice. Now onto me madras. I hope there's a lot of spice in here. I'll be close up on that. You see the steam coming off. I said, I hope it's hot and spicy. And he burnt my lips off. Not through the spice, because it was so hot. However, the beef there is very, very tender. Has a nice flavor to it. And there's a nice kick off that madras as well. Really, really nice kick off the sauce. That's not a bad curry. Let's have a little bit of rice. As always, I'm gonna dive in and crack on. And see you guys shortly. I'm really impressed. Okay, I finished my final meal of the day. 
I am full up. <clears throat> Onto the curry itself. Two nice uh, poppadoms. They were a nice crunch to them. Very, very tasty. Uh, the naan bread, again, nice and warm. We tore it open. It was, a, it, it was good. It wasn't the best, but it was good. The pilau rice, now that was tasty. There was a nice flavour in that rice, and I really enjoyed it. I might actually convert over from having boiled rice to pilau rice. We'll see. Really enjoyed that lamb, the beef madras. Nearly said lamb then, it was beef. Nice, nice flavour to it. Had a nice kick to it as well. Had on the menu, it had four chilies there. It was really good, had onions in there. It was a rich sauce with the, with the beef. And the beef had a really good taste to it as well. Overall, as a plate of food, that was pretty enjoyable. Very enjoyable. And I'm quietly surprised how good it was as well. And I think it good value for money. On to the bill. 13 pound and a penny, as I said earlier on. Bearing in mind we are in Victoria Station. Bearing in mind I've got myself a pint of Stella. Very nice. So if you take off the pint, uh, price of the Stella, I think that's really good value for money. It's very, very good value for money. Was it the best Indian I've ever had? Or the best curry I've ever had? No, it's certainly not, not even close. Marks out of 10? I'm gonna give it seven and a half out of 10. A good seven and a half out of 10. Okay, my final thoughts of the day. I've gone from being in a Michelin star restaurant to a Weatherspoons. But I can honestly say, I've really enjoyed myself. I've had a good day and I've been pleasantly surprised. A lot of you have said, get into Weatherspoons, give it a go. Yeah. Breakfast wasn't the best breakfast I've ever had. Uh, certain key components in that breakfast, it wasn't cooked well. However, I'd imagine, as I said earlier on, had it all been cooked perfectly, I would have been really impressed. I would have thought that was excellent. Uh, my chicken burger, I enjoyed the chicken. I thought the chicken in the butter chicken in the burger was really good. Uh, the crisp outside with the buttermilk, that tasted very nice. It had a fantastic smell to it as well. As a plate of food, wasn't the most appetizing. However, again, quietly impressed. That was okay. Finally, easily the best until last, was the beef madras. I really enjoyed the flavor of the beef madras. Gave a nice tingle on the lips. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Uh, the rice was good. Uh, everything there, all the components on the plate was very, very good. I'm gonna mark it as my day at Wetherspoons. What am I going to give it? I'm going to give it a good solid 7 out of 10 as a day with all three meals. I'm going to give it a good solid 7 out of 10. I've actually got a smile on my face. I, I actually enjoyed my day. I, you know, it, it was a nice day. Great suggestions, guys. I was never going to do Weather Spoons, but you guys suggested it. What I'd really like is more suggestions from you. I'd love to hear your comments on my day. Yes, thank you very much. I'd love to hear your comments today. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, as always, you know I really appreciate that. Until next time. Cheers. And I haven't got far to go to get on my train either. Bye-bye.